this is my husband Jared. This is my wife Jen. And this is Cherry Pie Cottage. Episode 42. Go ahead, say it. The answer to... It, it is the answer to life, <laughs> the universe, and everything. So if you have any questions at all about anything... The answer is 42. This is the episode to answer those questions. Yeah. So we live in Lubbock, Texas. Welcome back to everybody returning and... Hello to all you new people. We have gained some followers since the last time, and it's only been a week. What? What? Last time I checked, we have 721 friends here on YouTube. That's crazy. I know. That many people want to watch our shenanigans and our ridiculousness. Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah. So we got through the last episode without either one of the Lauras texting me. So let's see if we can do it again, because I didn't make an announcement. I didn't tell them we were doing it or nothing. So... Let's see. Um, what's been going on? Not a whole lot. You've been some... busy today. I have. Today I have. I got a couple of honeydews done today. You got one honeydew done? I got two honeydews. Besides the light, what else? I put the deadbolt on the on the fence gate. Oh, yeah. Forgot to ask that one. Yeah. So yeah. But we have two. our fourth our fourth recess light. Yes. Or pot light. Wherever you live, whatever it's yeah. called. Can light, pot light, recess light. Whatever. We have four of them Hold now. Holding the ceiling light, whatever. Yes. And we finally figured out how to set up our studio lights where it looks right and doesn't blow us out. However, that I am wearing my Cipolla. You still cannot tell that it's pink. This is old lace. But you really can't tell that it is. It's supposed to be more of a pink. It's like a very, like, blush pink. But you can't see it. Because it apparently it's just one of those colors that does not want to show up correctly at all. Mm -hmm. Because I have tried all different things and it just won't show up. So, but this, the gray is clouded. <laughs> and then this one is old lace. So, but I'm excited. Um, we are leaving Wednesday. Yes. yes. To go down to Jasper, Texas, not Jasper, Alberta. No. Sorry for all of our Sorry. Canadian friends that were confused. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, but we're going down to visit his side of the family um, for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to block, I'm going to wash and block all of my sweaters while we're gone. Because this one and my Maritimo are too short. So I'm going to try and block them more down. So if that doesn't work, then I know that when... I am, um, for my Sunset Highway, I need to knit it quite a bit longer than what the pattern says. I have a long waist and I like my shirts to be long. And these are not. So, but what else has been going on? Nothing really. Yeah. Not, not as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you even did a mother-in-law honeydew today. I did. I did. My mother-in-law asked if I could smoke her a turkey breast mm -hmm. for their Thanksgiving because... Last year, I smoked one while we were with them. Smoked a turkey, yeah. I smoked a turkey, yeah. Um, while we were with them, and she said, that's my job from now on because of how good it is. Mm -hmm. And even though we're not going to be there, she still wanted him to do it. Yeah, <laughs> which I'm, I'm fine with. I yeah. suggested that anyway. So, um, But we get the ones from, or she got the one from the store that's already fully cooked, mm -hmm. and then I just put some seasoning on it and put it out in the smoker for a couple hours. For and it, yeah. Three or four hours, I guess. It's not even like a whole turkey. It's literally just the turkey yeah. breast. But for them, that's more than enough. Yeah, for so, the three of them, four of them that are going to be there. Yeah, and two of them don't really eat turkey anyways. Yeah. So, but it slices really easily. It's amazing. Really good leftover, too. I may or may not have taste tested it mm, of course and our house so. now smells like smoked turkey because he brought it in to check it <laughs> and wrap it all up and get it all ready for her i told him for christmas though i'm going to probably buy three or four of those and have him smoke them up and we're going to take two of them down there because christmas day we do sandwiches and soup so that way there nobody has to really cook <laughs> so mm -hmm. but um our <clears throat> we announced sweater cow winners last last week actually our last podcast and only one of them got back to me so if you are watching knit takes two and leah mouse or moose l-i-a-m-o-u-s 
Yes. Please contact me on Instagram, so I or not Instagram on Ravelry, so I can get your prizes out to you because with the holidays coming up, it's going to take longer to get it to you. Especially knit takes two because you won the advent calendar and I'd like for you to be able to have it before December 1st So I don't know how possible that is but yeah at this point I mean... Yeah so um But yeah, that's really about it. Mm -hmm. I was dying up a storm because I did And I, I know I've said this before but I'm being truthful now. This is 100% the very last update I'm going to do this year. Heard that one before. Well, before it was the big update. So this one is a giant one, but this is the last big update, I should say, for the year. I do not have plans to do any more updates. Now, I might every once in a while sneak in a few more if I'm just feeling like it. But I am still doing my pre-orders, and if you have a custom order that you want to get done, I'm still doing that. I don't mind. I'm still dying, but I'm not doing updates for the shop. So I have some things that I want to get dyed up because I have something special planned for my birthday in March to release. I have a collection I want to release in March. And I have some other things. January, I have some things I might release. Not 100% yet. I have an idea, but it depends on if I have enough time because... In December, family life takes over. So, and I am perfectly okay with that. I know it's supposed to be my busiest time of the year. That's why I make sure my shop is completely <clears throat> stocked. But December, I don't really do a lot of work because there's a lot of baking. There's a lot of Christmas parties. There's just family. It's a lot of family time that I, we both really enjoy. Yes. So, what'd you do? Did you give yourself a yarn over? No, it's just that very first... Oh. Stitch that you don't do anything with yet. Yeah. Like had jumped over the twin that first twin stitch, so it was in the mm -hmm. middle. So it just looked weird. So plus I have a lot of I have some advent knitting I'm going to be doing. So I have two three advents including my own. Um plus the advent skein from um Cozy Knitter. Uh but that's really it. Yeah. What? I was just looking at what we were talking about right before we started. Oh. About my pearl stitches. Oh. Yeah. So. So. I still twist my pearl stitches. Yeah. Doesn't twist, twist his niche, but his pearl stitches he does. Yeah. Um, so, but now let's move on to our next section, which is... Faux party. party! Don't even ask. Hey, babe, do you have any foes? <laughs> yes. I do. <laughs> I'm just going to nip it in the bud and keep her from asking me a silly question. Okay, this one, the ends are woven in. Everything has been seamed and tacked down. I just need him to put the buttons on because, let me tell you, I can't do buttons. No, he's seen me try to do buttons. Like, I've pinned it exactly where it came off. I have sewn it right back on. I didn't move it or anything. When I'm done, it's it... It's on the back of the shirt. Rude and untruthful. <laughs> it's like half an inch to an inch further from where it was supposed to be. So he does the buttons. But I really don't understand why you have such a hard time. I really don't either. That and ironing. I cannot iron clothes for anything. I can iron my material for my bags because that's just straight ironing. But clothes, forget it. So this and poop. I already put away the pattern. It the is Sir Swank. Yes, by Telly Bean Knits. So this is for my cousin nephew. <laughs> the brother of my just, cousin niece. <laughs> that just sounds wrong. She is my they are my cousins, but I treat them more like they're my niece and nephew. They're not legitimately my niece and nephew. So, but I knit for them like they were and I I, I spoil them, basically. So, and this one loves Bucky's, like loves Bucky's. So every Sunday at church, I, I started out, I had Bucky stickers and you know, he's two. So Bucky stickers are, I mean, stickers in general are just great, but he really loves Bucky too. So I would bribe him and say, okay, can you give me a hug and I'll give you a Bucky sticker. And now he comes up and gives me a hug without even me having to give him a Bucky sticker. So it's great. 
because he was the type that if you were male, he'd come and talk to you all day long. Unless he was like his mom or his sweet D. So, but with him, he'd come and talk to Jared and Michael mm -hmm. all day long. With me, no. He even said my name. Yeah. Before he said my he... name first, but I'm Jimmy. Yeah. They can't, he can't say Jenny. It comes out Jimmy. And I think it's so cute. But his sister, however, adores me. I, yeah. So, anyways, hey babe. Yeah, babe? Do you have any foes? <laughs> I had to, guys. I know he doesn't. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. If you're sorry, you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I'm not really sorry. We know. So, are you almost at a stopping point? Almost. I gotta do this twin stitch and then turn. And when I turn, I can put it down. Cool. Okay. Okay. Then, now it's time for. Story time. This is Texas, y'all. Let's see. We called this last week what we were doing, I believe. Yeah, I was doing the top page, you were doing the bottom page. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start. Okay. Alright, so the first thing is the whooping crane. North America's only remaining flock of whooping cranes spends its winters in Aransas National Wildlife Refuge in Ostwell. One of the rarest birds in the U.S., it is also the nation's largest, standing five feet tall with a wingspan of seven and a half feet. And a lot of people get in trouble for shooting these when they go out sandhill sand crane hunting. And if you shoot one of these, that's a big no-no. Yeah, like major like, fine, jail time type. Yeah. yeah. But I will say, anybody who's watching, if something like that happens, just be honest with the game wardens. Yeah. You know, They're don't, a lot easier don't, if you're don't try to lie to them. Don't hide it because they've got, I think that, that whole flock, they've got them tagged. Yeah. So if they see their tag is stationary for an extended period of time, then they're like, oh, crud, the, the bird's dead. Yeah. And then they go find it, and then there's an investigation. So yeah. if it happens, Be honest. Just like, be as honest. soon as you do it, if it's an accident, as soon as you yeah. do it, call them and yeah. let them know. Call the game warden. Just tell, tell them what happened. Yeah. You know, you thought you were shooting a sand hill. Turns out it's a whooping. And yeah. 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 Yep. Your turn. He's been sand hill craning. Craning. Crane. crane hunting before, and it's, uh, I don't like it. They say it's like... It's the ribeye of the sky. It's gross. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, the state music of Texas, where it was born in the early 1930s. Western swing is dance music influenced by many diverse styles, including country, jazz, polka, and mariachi. The steel guitar developed in Hawaii has become a mainstay of many Western swing bands. There's some pretty good Western swing music, if you know how to line dance. Other than that, it's not really something now, I would talk, just sit there and Are we talking like, to. grab your partner, do -si do Is that Western swing dancing? No, that's square dancing. Well, what's Western swing then? I don't even know. Let's Google it. While she's Googling, uh, the next thing is whiskey. Uh, Merle Haggard made the Guinness Book of World Records for buying the largest round of drinks when he bought $12,737.50 worth of whiskey, which is about 40 gallons, for his entire audience at Billy Bob's, Texas. That's a lot of whiskey. Mm-hmm. That is a ton of whiskey. So it's like Bob Willis, Milton Brown, um, Spade Cooley. Hank Thomas. Because I know who those people are. Um, San Antonio Rose is one of the songs. Stay a little longer. We'll have, we'll have to listen to some of it later. Yeah. Speaking of listening to things, real quick. This is not about Texas story time. This is a sidebar. Okay. If y'all want to hear some truly just mind-melting music, Mongolian metal. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. I like telling everybody about this. <laughs> He it it sounds that out amazing. One day and it I sounds was amazing. Like, he blurted that out one day. I was like, "Who are you and why?" Because I don't like metal. So then I YouTubed it, and oh my goodness, <laughs> listen to it. Just, just pause our video, 
It's and, not like your typical, it's not and, American and, heavy metal at all. No, but Mongolian metal. And the, the one group that we've really listened to is the Huh or the Who. H-U is how yeah. you spell it. I, I don't know if the, it's Huh, like the Huns, or if it's Who, like... I think it's the like, Huh, like Huns. Probably, maybe. But do yourself that favor. Pause our video, go over, and, and just listen to some of that music real quick, and then come back yeah. to us. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> so um, I'm going to do two because this one's really quick. Okay. Waterloo was the original name of Austin until 1839. Huh. Did not know that, did, did you? Did not know that. So. Like New in like New York used to be New Amsterdam. Mm hmm And you can't go back to Constantinople. Nope. We watch Umbrella Academy, y'all. <laughs> they have some of, they have the best soundtrack <laughs> that show does. Um, I get from the soil and spirit of Texas that f the feeling that I, as an individual, can accomplish whatever I want to. And that there are no limits, that you can just keep going, just keep soaring. I like that spirit. Barbara Jordan, the first African-American elected to the Texas Senate after Reconstruction and the first woman ever to be elected to the Texas Senate. Oh, um, that's why we had a Barbara Jordan High School in Houston. <laughs> okay, then. Did not know that. All right. I'm going to do Wild Hogs and not the Tim Allen movie either. No. All right. What do you keep looking at? I, I saw like a red SUV. Yep. Yep. That, that. Okay. Okay, we're going to pause. Yeah. Her parents are here to pick yep. up the smoked turkey. So we're we'll going to be back. We'll be back. You're up. Yes, my turn. Now that we can actually start recording again. My parents came when they were done with them. Then it was time for me to take her daughter to her date. Yes. Because he doesn't drive yet. He didn't have his license either. No. I'll wiggle the table. Y'all aren't on the table. It's just the, the, just the TV. <laughs> and the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So this is wild hogs. Uh, millions of feral hogs flourish throughout the state. Because they cause massive environmental damage, Texas law allows hunters to kill them year-round without limit. Like domesticated pigs, wild hogs are actually quite intelligent and form elaborate social groups. So, I don't know how they're highly intelligent because I've seen the size of their brain and... He, he hunts them. Yeah. And we eat them. Yes. As long as, you know, you're the one that's rinsing them and not somebody else. <laughs> somebody else, rin once they've gutted it and rinsed the meat and everything, if it's not him... We've had hair show up, and it's yeah. quite gross. What? <laughs> what? Anyway. Okay, so the other thing is wind energy. And at some point, we are going to be able to get actual good video of all the windmills. But every time we go by, there's either a train going by, or that's when they're not running, or... Something. Something. So, the Texas is the nation's largest... Nations... Largest wind power producer and home to several of the largest wind farms in the world. Although Texas is known for being a champion of fossil fuels, in 2008 it became the second state in the United States to adopt policy that required a certain percentage of its electricity come from renewable sources. Today, Texas has the capacity to generate more, than, more wind energy than any other state, and Texas wind energy is cheaper than fossil fuels. We have a ton of windmills. Like, they're even around here in certain yeah. areas. You'll see, like, the big old parts going through town. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have a ton. And with all the wind we get here, it's no wonder. Yeah. We can't have any on our property because the rules are is that there has to be enough space between the building and the windmill for it to fall and not land on anything. Right. Our lot is not big enough for that. Our house takes up the majority of our lot. So, do you have anything else to add? I do not. Well then, that's... We actually talked about everything that was on the page. Yeah. So Usually we leave like one or two of them off. <gasps> we didn't. We still have wildflowers. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, we can talk about those real quick because I've already done a colorway for a, a few of these. 
You haven't done the tick seed. No. I haven't done the Indian paintbrush or the wine cup. Ooh, I kind of want to do the wine cup for January. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, there is not going to be a wildflower this in December because life. So, um, however, last month was this one, the pink evening primrose, and then that is our state flower, the Texas blue bonnet. And then we have Indian paintbrush, the tick seed that he was talking about. We have... Um, blanket flower, or you know, the Indian blanket, that's what we call it. Wine cup. Then we have what is this one right here? Drummond. Oh, I've seen those. There's a Mexican hat, which we have around here a lot. Mm -hmm. And then this one is the white prickly poppy. These are just a few of wildflowers. There are over 5,000 species of flowering plants that are native to Texas, and their splendor can be soaked in every spring across the state. And it is gorgeous. The, the blue bonnets, oh my goodness, when we go down for LTC, mm. we need to find a spot and get like a really good picture. Yeah. They're beautiful, and then you have the Indian paintbrush in between them. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. But that is... Story time. Next time it's XYZ. So I guess I better get a new book. Yep. <laughs> ASAP. Um, the one that uh, gave us the recommendation, she remind she give me sent me a message and let me know exactly what it was again. And I went and looked at it. It's a like picture book and it's only like 16 pages long. Might have even been that, it might have been like eight. But it's not going to be long enough, but because of that, I was able to find another book, so I need to order that one. But, so, we have one more story time, and then we probably won't start the new book till the new year. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. Okay. What we might do for the last one for December, for the year, is read a Chris, one of our favorite Christmas stories. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We will see... Or he's just going to have to come up with some Christmas breaking news. Yeah. Probably should do that. But. Okay. We need to pay attention. Waiting on you. Okay. Okay. But now it's time for... Whip. Whip it. Whip, Whip it, it good. good. Do you want me to go first? Sure. Okay. Because I'm counting. I only have two. Because I finished one that I was working on. And then the other two are two new cast on. Um, I only have two more Christmas gifts to finish. But I need the children to not be at home because they're for them. Mm -hmm. um, which is why they're not done. But I did. I couldn't wait any longer. I went ahead and cast on Haley Soldatna. If I can get the picture. This is by Caitlin Hunter or Boylan Networks. She is one of my favorite designers. But, ooh, that is perfect. So we are doing short sleeves and we are gonna do the um, crop top because um, that's what she wants. She is going to wear something underneath it though. So her belly will still be, it will not be a belly shirt. Um, we're thinking like a button up, a white button up underneath it. Be so cute. With the collar popped out and everything. Um, but I am using all cherry pie cottage yarn. Just some plain, oh, undyed. Um, purple on tweed. The undyed is, um, DK100, my DK100 base. And the other DK100 is $5 Billio. Then we also, the main color with the majority, because we're not doing the little bitty polka dots in the body. We're just going to, she just wants it all one color. So this is concrete on DK Tweed. And there are three skein, two skeins of this left in the shop if you want it. Just saying. Um... Ready to ship, by the way. So, 
here's what I've got so far. It's so pretty. This is like all I want to knit on, which makes my daughter happy because she really wants her sweater. So there's that. Now what part is that? This is the yoke. Oh. So this is, her head would be here. Yeah, I get where the yoke is. So, oh, look at those colors. They're showing up true to color too. Okay, so there's that one. Um, you want me to keep yeah, going? Yeah, you, you go ahead. Okay, well this is my last one. Okay. So, there's that. That was in a bag that I made a long time ago. Then a new cast on is Mosaica. I have I bought this pattern a while back and have been wanting to knit it for a while and just did not have, didn't know what yarn to use. This is by Anitica, Anitica on Instagram. Her name is Amanda Schwab. 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 Yeah. Maybe. So, that's what it looks like. There's the name. So, um, I frogged my Snap That Wrap. I really, really, really wanted the finished product, but I never had time to sit down and work on the lace. So, and I would have worn it. Oh, I would have worn it. But it was with my Twisted Owl, um, owl um, Ice Searing Pink, and this Hedgehog. This one? Your phone's going off. Hedgehog. Um, what is it? Cheeky. Keep talking. Okay. And Sweet Georgia. Snowfall is the colorway. Um, all on fingering weight bases. But when I frogged it, I swapped out the eye searing pink for this less traveled yarn, Beusha, on the Tweed Me base. And here it is in the cake. Um, I cast this on today, so there's really not much done. I haven't even got to the gray. I am still on the very first section. But I'm really liking how it's looking. That's the beginning. So, there we go. But that's all. That's all I've got going right now. And I've worked a little bit on my, I've worked a little bit on my um, Sunset Highway, and I've worked a little bit on some socks, but not enough to show. So, hey babe, what you whipping up? I am whipping up the same thing I've been whipping up for a while now. Yes, but what are you Is on? My my socks. These are the Maybe Baby socks uh, designed by Cozy Up Knits. And I'm using my Rose Hill yarn that, you got that I got at Knit City. Whoop, whoop. Um, and I started putting the heel in. Or the heels. I'm on. Show them what you were talking about with twisting your pearl stitches. Oh, yeah. So, a while back we came to the realization we were twisting our knit stitches. Or, several people had said yeah, it. We several just people had said it. it off I was and... just like, well, whatever. Well, then I started doing it the other way. and Because you were brioching and you had to. Yeah, I was brioching and I had to. So I do like it better. But as I was... Your knitting's loose. As I'm that, knitting sure. this, you know, on the heel, you knit and then you purl back, knit, purl back, whatever. Because it's a short row heel, essentially. Well, I come to find out I I'm twisting my purl stitches still you can kind of see it there in the heel and I mean it may it gives kind of a neat little stripey effect I think but mm -hmm. I don't know it's neat and I don't know if I'm gonna 
stop doing it or if I'm going to keep doing it or what. But Well, you have to do it for sure on this project. Well, yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm whipping up right now. Oh, the bag I had mine in was, sorry, was nip for brains because your bag's the same. Hmm. But mine's my llama bag. Mm-hmm. And this is the one that has the two giant pockets on the outside and it's canvas. And well, mine it's doesn't got... have outside pockets. No, because yours doesn't have Mine's not handles purse. either. Um, but it's a drawstring and it's got the six pockets on the inside. Fantastic bag. Y'all should go check out her shop. Yes. Just saying. So he's got the original style, which is... The six pockets on the inside and it's canvas. Yeah. But his is his um, Nightmare Before Christmas. So, I have, um, that's all the whips we have, but I do have some soon to be cast on. Um, I changed my colors for the Cozy Up MCAL, which doesn't start till January 1st. But I'm using my bag from Prairie Dye Studio that Jamie sent me. Well, the girls sent me. But I changed my colors. And I have since decided to use my own yarn because I can. So this is Snow Flurries on my fingering sock base. Um, it is one of the Christmas colorways for this collect for this year. So it is available pre-order right now on all of my bases, all seven. Um. But I am going to do this as my um, speckle, and then I'm going to do teal tastic as my contrast tonal on fingering tweed. So these two together. Isn't that pretty? I think we need to back the camera up a little bit, maybe. Why? Because when I do this, it like. Well, uh -huh. then don't do that. Yeah, but I need to get it that close so it shows the color better. But anyways, so these are my colors. Hey, babe, are you going to do this, MCAL? I think we both know I'm not. Okay, I've got my... I have my uh, Advent knitting. Mm -hmm. And that's... That's a bold move for me. Yeah, because it is fingering white socks. Exactly. So... Can't show you the actual yarn, but ours is wow, is caked up, but I am using this for my contrast color. It's just Knit Picks on their Swish Fingering, and it's white. And I'm using it in my favorite Christmas bag ever, and I got it in my bag swap last year. She's a quilter. Oh my goodness, y'all, look. She hand-pieced this. Oh. It is my favorite one ever. So, what are you gonna do? Can you show your bag? We can show I, you the bag and the yeah. contrast. That is it. Yeah. So. so, this is, and I love you. And I love your bags mm -hmm. that you have made me, but this is the most awesome bag that I've Because it's I made. gnomes. And he knows I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do gnomes. <laughs> it's gnomes. This is by uh, Ginger Snap. And it's like a felt. It's like felt on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's so soft. But I love I've this bag. I've used some of this fabric and I hate sewing with it. And I snagged this at Knit City. Um, like, it, it wasn't even out. Because that's a neat idea. Yeah. It, but they didn't even have it out. He had to go digging mm -hmm. for it. So... Because he specifically asked him and he said, can I just snag this, please? Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be my, this is my contrast. Is, and I, I don't remember the brand or the colorway on this yarn. I think it's Lone Star or Yarn Carnival. One, I, it's a it's Texas yarn. One it's a Texas yarn. No, it's not because you, the yellow orange that you were working it with was a Lone Star. This was just a Plano. Well, then I have no idea who made this. This is a box brand. If anybody recognizes this colorway, let because me know. black is well, there's some light gray. In I there. think it there's might be the same there. kind as your Hawasco. That the green one. Arcania? Yeah, I really kind of think it is. Eh, maybe. 
I don't know. But that's going to be my heels, toes, and cuffs. And then here's the actual skein. No. No, I can't show that. <laughs> but we do have it wound up. And yes. And I watched TV and didn't even pay attention to the color changes, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was cool is she already had it divided. Yes. It was already divided. I was divided ecstatic, into. so they're going to be perfectly matching. <laughs> and I actually like my when I do self-striping for them to match perfectly, but I am not going to stress myself out trying to get it to do that. So I was ecstatic when I unwound it and it was two half skeins that mm. were perfectly matched. It's great. So, but that's but, would that be cast on Idis? Um. Or would that be soon, soon to be? Soon to be cast soon on Idis. I'm just gonna put it under whips because we don't have enough cast on Idis stuff to do that. Oh, okay. So, but now it's time for my precious. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Because he's not paying attention. So, the only thing that I have, it, it was a pre order that I did about a month ago, but it's another self striping. And yes, it's a Christmas one, but I don't care because Kirby Worby. So, oh my goodness. The name, I mean, I saw the colorway all knit up and oh, it was beautiful. Then she said the name, cooler than a pack of peppermints. And I was sold. So, like, we had to pause the podcast, and I went immediately and bought it. <laughs> but I need to split this into two because I am sending the other half to Laura from Knit for Brains. So, woohoo. But that is all the My Precious I have. But look, I do still have a little Christmas on. It's my snowman earrings. But that is it for my precious. So, but now it's time for shop news, which is a lot. Yes. And hi, my name is Jenny. My <laughs> shop's name is Cherry Pie Cottage on Etsy. <laughs> she she <laughs> wrote a big box around it and with an arrow that says, say it. Because <laughs> you always forget. I know. Yeah. See? And I don't have. I don't have shop news, but I do have a shop on Etsy that is Goblin King Designs. So, mm -hmm. you'll go check that out. Uh-oh. Our battery is about to die. So, let's see how far we can get. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. So, let's start with the restock. Or, yeah, restocks. So, I restocked Emo Eggs on mm -hmm. Fingering Tweet. Um, somebody ordered a skein and I just went ahead and dyed up two more and I'm gonna put these in the shop. So this pairs very well with my sugar plum colorway. FYI. Um let's see. I only have a mini of it right now, but let's see. Pairs well with that. It also would look good with the hot cocoa and it would look good with snow flurries and if you really like the minis idea guess what else I may have put in some mini skein sets of all three of the colors so you can get a set and it comes with all three so if you buy this and pair it with this you could also enter it into cozy up and knit something with it you can enter it into cozy up knits Mini along that is going on till December 31st. Fancy. Just saying. But these are 20 gram mini skeins. They are 92 yards a piece. So, and this is 438 yards. What's wrong? I'm to the point where I need stitch markers and I don't have stitch markers. Yeah. So I have so. To but these mini skein sets are like super limited edition because what's in the shop, that is it. I am not restocking these at all. So when they're gone, they're gone. 
Um, but there's that. Well, what if somebody really wants one and it's not in the shop anymore? Nope. I am not reading. I'm not doing the minis again. Sorry. Because in order to dye them, I have to have at least five. So if you want to order five sets of the minis, no, I'm just going to say no. <laughs> no. Um, so the other, you love emu eggs. I do love emu eggs. And it looks so good with mustard. Yeah. So pardon me while I get mine. I have to have these separated because I haven't put tags on them yet. And I have three bases. The fingering weight, that's easy to tell the difference between that and the other. But the DK sock and the worsted 100, a little bit difficult. So I'm just keeping them separate. But... I'll be back again. Okay. You gonna go get the charger? Yeah, I'm gonna get the charger and try to catch it before it dies. Cool. Well, you're doing your shot news. Shot news! Okay. So, I have restocked private time with my knitting on figure eight socks. Viv. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Viv. Um, I right. have done ready to ship on DK Sock. This is not a pre order. This is ready to ship in the shop now. And I have also dyed it up on my newest base. Worsted 100. What? You're moving the camera. Sorry. You're showing my crate. You shouldn't be showing my crate. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Back this way a little bit. He's plugging in the camera. And you got to see how I plug in the lights on the... <laughs> uh, you can still see it. Is it still good? Uh, yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so... Private time with my yarn. Worsted 100. Worsted 100 is 100% super wash merino. Worsted weight, 218 yards. And oh my goodness, is it butter. That is... The squish factor on it, y'all. It's like butter. It's squishy. It's like a big twisted stick of butter. It's super squishy. Yes. Um, let's see, what is the other colorway I did? Ooh. I did, um, Knitting in the Lounge. I restocked that on Fingering, which this batch came out more blue than the last batch. Mm. So this is on Fingering Sock. Then we have it on ready to ship DK sock. I don't do ready to ship DK sock very often guys. So run and grab it because I don't know when I'm going to do it again. Y'all get you some. And see, look at the difference between the two bases. This one is definitely more blue. And you don't like either one of those weights. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I have it on worse than 100 too. So pretty. Okay, let's see. Then, one I haven't done in a while. We have Punk Princess. And again, this one came out more like purple instead of the, and then it is, this is Fingering Sock. And I also have it on DK Sock. Let's see? It's very different every time I dye it. I do the exact same thing, but very different every single time. Um, let me reorganize and get these put away. Then we also have it on Worsted 100. Oh my goodness, the difference. I cannot wait to knit with this. I want to knit a sweater out of this. The 100% worsted? Yes. No, super wash merino worsted, jerk face. <laughs> um, then, his favorite. 
The one that he designed. Mm. Um, Kentucky Rain. On fingering 100. And, or fingering sock. And worsted 100. I'm going to put these down and I'm going to pull up. No, you can't keep that one. You can't keep that one. Give I, it back. I put it back in the in your no, crate. No, you did not give it back. Cool. Let's try though. Thank you. <laughs> so I have this big, like, this is all the worsted, guys. Okay, so. That one goes there. Oh, it's right here. Then, of course, I had to do it on dusk. This is where the rest of these are going to be worsted 100. I had to do dusk because this colorway, like, sells out almost immediately. Um, and because I love pink, I did some hibiscus. Ooh, that's actually not blowing it, but that's true to color, guys. I'm just blowing it out a little bit. This is hibiscus. Camera stopped recording, but we're back. So this one looks good with knitting in the lounge. It also looks good with dusk. But if you're going for like a fadey type, so we have hibiscus, punk princess, knitting in the lounge, and Private time with my yarn. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and then I cracked myself up with my um, Instagram stories. Hi, sweet girl. Can we not step on mommy's yarn? Thank you. It's not the yarn I'm putting in the shop. It's the yarn I'm knitting with. Um, cracked myself up with my Instagram stories when I showed all the different colors that I have. And I put the Avengers music <laughs> over it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. So we also have it on Tealtastic. We have Concrete. And this one goes with every color that I have. This is my favorite neutral. And I also have it on Emu Eggs. Which this is not showing up true to color. No. It, it's more of a... A green. It's more yeah. green than that. If you haven't seen it before. It's like a greeny teal, almost. Mm -hmm. Or a tealy blue, maybe. Mm. It's more green than blue. Yeah. So, but it's like this colorway. This the colorway never shows green. up. This one never shows up correct, even though I've tried several different things. Old lace never shows up correct. It's annoying. It's kind of showing up correct. Yeah. It's showing up more correct than it has in the past. Yes. Um, as of right now, I only have one of these because the other one sold <coughs> in the shop. Um, and then we have My Caramel Romance. And this is a colorway that shows up, that comes out of the pot different every single time I dye it. Sometimes it is more brown. Sometimes it is more orangey like this one. And then sometimes it is like the perfect blend of the brown and the orange. And it's only one color that I put in. It's not several. I mean, I mean, I, I'm actually weigh mine. I don't measure it with spoons or whatever. I actually weigh it. So it's the same weight every time. Same dye lot for that matter. Mm -hmm. I haven't even bought new ones. So I don't know, but I like it, but I'm also very, every time that I put in a new batch of yarn, I take new pictures. I always, always, always take new pictures of each dialogue. So what you see is the current, unless it's pre-orders. Pre-orders are the picture I have. And so if you do a pre-order, sometimes it's it's not gonna it's not going to look exactly like the picture. I do my best. I write down my recipes, I follow the recipes, I do exactly the same, but it's hand dyed, so it's going to be different. Mm -hmm. Even yarn in the exact same batch can be different. Like these two. 
You see how this one's got a lighter patch in it and this one doesn't? These were dyed in the exact same pot at the exact same time. So, but um, no wildflower. Uh, I do have my patterns in Ravelry, but I also have um, Holy on Purpose, which is my shawl, and my Canada Friends cowl in my Etsy shop. If you need a sweater quantity, message me on um, Etsy, and I will get you all set up <laughs> with your custom order. I, hap I happily do custom orders, so because I do not, I do not have the space to dye up sweater quantities for the shop. So if you need a sweater quantity, please message me and I will do a custom order for you and get you what you would like. So, but I think that is it for shop news. Do you have any shop news? I do not. How about the name of your shop? I already said it. Oh. Well then. Then I guess it's time for the tail end. Womp womp. Still not about anybody's butt. No. Nope. So, do you have anything to add to tell him? Um, I don't. Thanksgiving this week, this coming week. Yep. That's Thursday. American so, Thanksgiving. Yes. So, if you're an American, happy Thanksgiving. Yep. Hope you have a fantastic holiday. And then Friday, I hope that if you get out really early to go Black Friday shopping, God bless you. Hope you make it through and don't get trampled. We are not yeah. those people. We do go Black Friday shopping, but we go like... We get up and we lazily take our time yeah. and just, if we get the if, deal, we get the deal. If, if the we deals don't, we are don't. there, they're there, you know? Yeah. If they're not, we weren't meant to have the thing. Our favorite place is Cabela's. We oh, really, yeah. we like to go to Cabela's. So. Um, if, you, if you do a, go out Black Friday shopping um, and you go out early and all that stuff, make sure if you're recording a fight to turn your phone sideways. <laughs> okay, because you get more... You shoot it side to side so the picture's nice and wide. I knew when you showed me that thing when it came across your Facebook, you were going to say something <laughs> on here. How about try and break up the fight or call security or something? Don't just sit there and film it. Well, you can call them, but then film it. <laughs> like, while you're filming, be like, hey, security! We, um, both of our shops offer free shop, uh, free shopping. Free shopping. It is free shopping. It is free to shop. Yes. It's not free to buy. No. <laughs> we do both offer free shipping in our yes. shops. $35 or over. U.S. orders. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we cannot do it for um, international. international. Sorry. It just, we can't. Um, I have discounts, codes. Go check out my Instagram stories. I saved it. Um, it's in my profile. And you can get those codes. Um, also, what was I going to say? Oh, I have some Black Friday deals coming. So check the shop out on Friday the 29th. 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 And it runs through Cyber Monday. So watch my Instagram stories and I will tell you more about it when it gets closer. Are you going to run a... Black Friday I, I'm pro I probably will. I'll probably do mine, same as yours, Friday to Monday. Okay. Um, I don't know what kind of sale though, or what kind of deep discounts I'm going to give. Mm. So. They might be rather shallow discounts, but... Yeah, small business. We're still... His, yeah. his shop is just starting out. We can't do like the big box stores and offer no. deep, deep discounts. No, so I'm sorry. We do try to do good ones. Sorry. But... Usually, um, I run a pretty good sale for Black Friday, and then I do one other, like, um, customer appreciation sale, basically. Those are my two big <clears throat> blowout sales. So, but I think that's it. I think so, that it. go check out our Facebook group, and if you don't want to do Facebook, we have a Ravelry group, too. Both of them are Cherry Pie Cottage. Um, the one on Facebook is a private group. So, well, it's a page, I guess, but you can type in Cherry Pie Cottage. It's private. You do have to ask to join. You need to answer the question and say you will follow the rules, and then I will approve you. Um, and Ravelry, it's go in and join. You know Ravelry. Yeah. We have our Hey Y'all thread. You can also do it on Facebook and just say, Hey Y'all, 
we will see it, I promise. Mm -hmm. um, Here on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe to the page, like and share the video, and as always, tell your friends, tell your family, tell random strangers on the bus, train, plane, wherever. Yep. Word of mouth is how we get around, guys. Yep. So. And we we need just under, what, 300 more friends before we do another giveaway? I think so. Give me a check. <clears throat> well, it was 721 last time you looked. Yeah, that was a couple hours ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's still 721. 721. Just 420 views. So, once we once we get to a thousand, we're gonna we'll do another giveaway. And that bigger, one bigger than the last one. Yes, that one will include bag, yarn, pen, mm -hmm. possibly buttons. Yep. So. But. But, God is good. Read your Bible. Bye y'all. Bye.